max out. If you a bad look, put the back out. Back out.
my nerves because the moment people say like the government say oh we're gonna change for example the requirements for food stamps or we're going to change the requirements for medicaid or something like that and then when the caseworkers do their job you get pissed off saying how it's not fair how you struggling but if you had elected someone who represented you you know you probably wouldn't be in the situation you're in now probably would have been dealing with the same thing and I'm not saying people who are on government assistant is come you know they complain a lot and they're greedy what is this in the road oh pieces of tire but it's a lot of people who come and they actually need help they really desperately need help and a lot of the laws and stuff like that changing like I um read yesterday I, I know it's a, a it's a school district doing this that they are they are reporting children to DSS Department of Social Services or uh, Child Services whatever it's called where you at but they're reporting kids to, to DSS because they don't have money for their lunch they have a balance so they're reporting these, these families to DSS and I, I, it made me think about you know my mom we struggled a lot. My dad didn't work or whatever. He got laid off. It was hard for him to find a job. And I remember uh, I went to the, they called all these kids in the cafeteria and they gave us this bill, whatever, saying that, you know, hey, you owe money for lunch. And I'm like, first of all, this damn lunch was nasty anyway, but I just ate it because I was hungry. <laughs> but anyway, on a real tip, you know, um, but luckily they, they work it out. I, I was on like this free or reduced lunch plan kind of thing but it's a lot of people that you elect in like you well i know like especially like where i live you call you know you elect for a school board you elect for um just a lot of local things or statewide things not just national but it grinds my gears when people say oh i'm not going to vote because my vote don't matter but when they start changing stuff where you live that you feel some type of way and i'm like you have no right to complain you have absolutely no right to complain about, oh, this and that going on. You have no right to do that because you didn't get out there. You didn't get your ass out there to vote. Your vote says, look, I'm tired of what you're doing or I want to keep things the same, you know, depending on who you vote for, if you reelected somebody. But you can't, you, you don't have no right to complain. Your your vote does matter, especially like African-Americans. It it's on my nerves because our people fought, you know, got beat up and everything for us to vote, to be seen as people. And you sit here, you you just sleep on that. And then you wonder why, okay, I wonder why stuff in my community is not working out. And then a lot of us don't get out there and, and, and want to get involved in politics, want to change what's going on in our community. We just complain about it. So don't sit there and complain about it. If you need to, go ahead and register to vote. It doesn't even take that long, I'm telling you. It doesn't take that long. Like I see voter registration papers every day, to be honest. But it doesn't take long to, to register to vote. Like your vote is your voice. You know, your vote is your voice. Get out here and and get people registered to vote if you can. I remember, of course, I did stuff like that when I was in high school. I got people registered to vote. I um, because I had work, work. I uh, did something volunteering or whatever. Um, with one of my advisors of a program I was in in college. Um, got people registered to vote. Um, even answer questions or whatever about them having you know any question they had about the voting, you know, registering the vote process. Even, like I say, at work, still do the same thing. Um, it doesn't, like, it's just one little paper. I mean, it gonna have a paper, of course, like, I don't know how I look at other things. It's a paper. You just put, you know, it says all this little stuff. Next paper, you just write your little address, you know, all the little stuff, that's it. You know, get on your copy of your ID, all good, all good. But don't sit out there and complain about stuff not changing because a lot of the stuff that they do have going on, and I know 
know especially where I live, especially where I live, a lot of stuff they have going on, they sometimes put it in when you go vote. I don't know what's that called, the uh, the little voting computer thingy, that thing. Like, okay, like for example, I remember we had to vote for, I think it was president or something. Yeah, it was president. And they asked about, um, they asked two things about that in that election. I remember they asked about receiving Medicaid benefits from the federal government. And they asked about marijuana. Should they legalize marijuana? Of course, everybody said, yeah, to legalize marijuana. But, you know, even though everybody else wanted the, the people up there could be like, nah, we ain't going to do it. Because, you know, of course, there's a lot of people that still look at it as a drug versus, you know, for its uh, medical benefits. Instead of they say, hey, you know, like California and, and all these other states, you know, hey, people who has medical reasons to do this, you can do this. Plain and simple, right? Okay. And, I, like, my brother who did go bold, we was like, yeah, you know, they had, they talked about talk about how they had you know marijuana stuff like that i said you, you always on this whole holistic thing talk about you know nature and stuff like that but when the people like really need you whatever you wasn't there because you're saying oh my vote doesn't matter it does matter now i know this whole electoral uh colleague thing it's confusing trust me it is but it does matter it does matter Especially if you want to sit here and get out these uh, Senate people or these legislators or whatever who've been there since before I was damn it born. <laughs> okay. If you want to get these people out, get some new fresh meat up in there. If you want change, like you got to vote. You got to get out here. You got to register, man. I'm telling you. It's free. If you need a ride to go vote, let me tell you, uh, I know, especially where I live, I share all the time when they do vote and stuff. They have rides, free rides. The NAACP will come pick you up from wherever you are. Okay? They will pick you up from wherever you are to take you to go vote. And like I say, it, it it's, it's not even a whole a long process. It's not even long. Like where I live, my voting um, station, they have, like I'll say, one, two, three. They probably have like five, you know, computer things or whatever. And it's a lot of people where I look. I don't live in like the city, so I live on the outskirts. And it's a whole lot of people where I live at. And I never, I didn't realize that till I went to the fireworks show a couple of years ago, and it was like jam packed on Little Island. But anyway, I went. Um, it's a lot of people, but I'm telling you, you go in there, you you register or whatever, and you'd be like, okay. Register out, you know, sign in, show them your ID and your little voting card. You wait a little bit. I'm telling you, it's, you know, you go in there, you can select to click everybody. If you, you know, you have your own Democratic Party. Me, for example, I don't do all that. <laughs> I'm like, let me see, because some of y'all I don't even know. Some of y'all I don't even like. So I'm going to vote for who I think represents my beliefs. So that's what I'm going to do. But you have to get out there and vote. It's, it's very imperative, okay? It's very imperative for you to get out there, especially people of color. We always sit here complaining, and we always want more stuff for us, but we need somebody who's going to represent us. If you feel like, and I, I'm not coming over here to tell you who to vote. If you feel like Donald Trump, you know, where would do better for black people then vote for him if you feel bernie sanders would do better because he wants to um get rid of school debt which lord knows i need because this little school this little um public service school teaching thing 10 years that's... anyway back on stuff on topic but um if you feel that that person represents you and you you feel that they strongly believe that hey i'm going to make a change i'm doing you know going in blood sweat and tears i'm going hard okay i'm going hard <laughs> then you 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 select that person like we ain't all gonna agree who the best person is people say donald trump is the the, the most worst person in the world. Some people think he is 
heaven sent. Like literally, they they think he was, you know, sent by God to to be our president. But I mean, I don't know. I ain't God, so I can't answer that question. But um, go out there if you have a belief or whatever. If you feel that this person represents you or you want to make changes where you live, go out there and do it. Like, I be happy when I be seeing, like, especially, like, school board. Because it be, like, so many people in school board in my district that be there for years. And I kid you not. And I'm like, I tell my mom, I say, you know, I'm so sick and tired of these same-ass people running for school board. We need somebody different. I, I wasn't doing it because I was in college and stuff like that. Um, at the time, I, I, I needed to focus on trying to graduate. <laughs> And I was like, you know, mom, I'm so sick and tired of these people. I said, you have a select few. You know they don't send their kids to the public schools. You know they don't even come to the school. They can graduate from the damn school. And they never step foot in the school until it's graduation day when, when they dare to hand out your diplomas. They don't come around and visit the, and see how the kids are going, see what's going on. Because I remember this one lady... I remember her and I, I, I love her because she, she would always come to the school when I was younger. She would always read to the students and she was native American and she would always tell us about, you know, her um, parents and stuff. And she was not from our town. And then we had this other lady. She didn't send her kids to our, uh, to our schools, but she will, will always be there. I mean, every single, every single year. This lady will visit our school multiple times. But then you have people up there that's getting paid doing school board. And they don't step foot into the school. Even football games, they don't come. They don't get involved. So, I'm like, when somebody else ran, guess what? I vote for that person because I'm sick and tired of it. And I'm sick and tired of it, you know. Um, I know how I was when, when I was in school dealing with all the stuff that they did but anyway that's just my example of why it's, it's important because you can make a change you can make a difference somebody gonna party get on here call me all type of uh, fat souls and all type of stuff like that i don't care because what i'm saying is very important it's very important you can get on here talk about all your conspiracy theories i don't care I don't care because at the end of the day, regardless of them conspiracy theories or whatever, you are a person and you do matter. You 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 pay taxes. You you contribute to this uh e economic thing we got going on here. You are a person. You live here and you have to decide when it is when you want to make a change. So that's all I'm going to say. It's hot. Um, it's about to rain. And I'm home, so thank you so much for watching. If you like what I have to say, if you don't like what I have to say, either way, God bless you. And make sure you comment, share, and like, and subscribe. About to go. Bye.